Yep, this is what I did this week. I cut these posts right here, these posts right here, the 4x4s. Four They're 12 feet high. Cut them on the uh, sawmill. Then I buried them four feet in the ground from this point here down, four feet. And I cemented two feet of two feet of cement in the ground to hold these in. I cut uh, four of those. There's one over there. There's another one over there standing up. And over there, I haven't got it done yet. It's on the ground over there. It's there. I got them all set. I milled these oak that I trees that I cut down this week. And these four posts right here, this here, the back ones. Those um, those are buried in the four, the four feet of ground also. When you dig here, you get all this shale. It's kind of hard to see. Look at the size of those shale pieces. Look at them. Look at them up front here. Look at them. They're huge. You have to dig on the shale. So in order to dig a hole here, you got to dig it from here all the way up to here. This is eight feet from here to here, to right here, eight feet. So each one of these holes I had to dig is, uh, I think we figured out there are 14 feet. There's four of them. Then these posts here I brought from the house. I just had them laying around. This is going to be my solar array, my solar rack. And um, I got the, it's going to go from here, four feet above the ground. So about here, it's going to go all the way up there out of 45. Way up there. And there, yeah, this one is, um, I hit hit one back there, so it was not, I have to straighten it out when I backfill a little bit. So I'm filling it with, uh, backfilling it with um, stone that I had delivered, which is right here. The pile's way over there, way over there, which I'll show you in a second. We'll go over there. So, and I had to cross member up, tee them up here in this way, just to hold them in place, keep them straight. And these things are 12 feet long, and they're solid four, four inch oak. Look at that. It's almost perfect. Look at that. Can you, can you see that? Can you see it? Perfect in this? I did a good job. <clears throat> but I'm tired. See the hole there? I'm going to put these in the hole Monday. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, so I have to leave. There's another post. Four by four. Look at the size of that thing. I build these on the, like I said, on the sawmill. This one's going to go right here. Right here in line with this one. It's going to be buried. I cemented the four corner posts here and here. So that, uh, <coughs> excuse me, they'll be safe. They'll be sturdy. These two center ones are going to be fine. But I'm going to put cross members all the way across. All the way across. 24 feet. And um, this is the channel that I'm using. For the solar. It's right here. Yeah, it's heavy. It's going to go up. An angle. It's a 45. It's massive. It's hard to do. Let's see if I can get this up there to stay. There. It's going to be somewhat like that. But it's going to come down this way a little bit further. So it'll be right here, sitting just like that. Yeah and I'll bolt it in. Hopefully I'm doing it right. <laughs> but this one's too high and that one's too high. These are all supported. I cemented these in. These are solid. Yeah. We've just been, I've just been working. I broke that one. I had a stone. I didn't realize it was in the bucket. I just smashed that two by two. I used it as a brace. This is where I live. I live in the woods. I cut a bunch of trees down yesterday. I cut a whole bunch of trees down over there. And it's um, doing that for um, more sunlight. And I'm gonna go back in here, when I come back, after my doctor's appointment, and I'm gonna clear out a bunch more over here. There's a couple of the taller ones. I got a pine tree over there, massive one over there, it's gonna go. <clears throat> the west is that way. So we got, this is all perfect, all facing south. So, we'll see how I did. And this is the pile of stone I have. This cost me $420 to get, I'm sorry, $460 to get delivered here. This is one pile. And I cut all those trees off over there. A lot of them were just the poplar. I skidded them out to the woods, of uh, the mill, I mean. And um, 
the rest of the stuff is just going to be used for firewood in the winter when I uh, some downtime, which I don't see that ever happening, but I cleared this place out pretty good yesterday. Oh, I love the smell of this. The smell of the woods. And like I said, I got to clear all back there about another 40 feet. But it's just, right now it's, 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 it's hard work. And I'm sore at night. But I sleep real well. <laughs> I went to bed at 9.30 last night. I woke up at a little before 8. Had coffee, had oatmeal, quick oats. And then I went back to work. But you can see it over here. Those two posts are almost perfectly lined up. See? Isn't that cool? I haven't measured them yet. I want to make sure that they're, they're good. But my arms is tired. My body's tired. There's my tractor. There's my shipping container where I live in. My cabin's going to be delivered. Great where the tractor is. It's 42 feet long. And the uh, cabin's going to go right at the end of the road right here. Right here, edge of the road. That's the road right here. Right here. And I'm going to take all this fill, fill it into here, fill it right back to here. Go back to this tree. This tree right here. I left that tree. And it's going to go all the way over there. So that's, um, I love my tractor. Did I say that? It's a 1948 8N. This thing has power. It's got a plow on the front. And it has a back, back grading plow over here. Yep. Goes up and down. It's the first year that they had hydraulics that would stay in place right there. Right there. That's a four speed. Um, runs good. Runs really good. The guy I bought it from put LED lights on it. Look at those things. I'm going to get some change for it. And um, I just plow the snow. Go back to my solar. So, after I get this all done, I have to dig a trench from here all the way to there. Right there. And I have to run the conduit inside the shipping container. So I can have power. I want to build a solar rack inside. That's all I do is build it. But it's cool. It's cool. If you like my videos, subscribe. Um, it's cool. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, share. So I've got getting more subscribers every day. Oh, I mean, a few. A few here and there. Okay. Thank you. And uh, everybody have a nice day.